Are you guys safe in there? Not in like where I usually film when the bathroom because I need a sink in front of me because it would be easier as it would be messier without a sink. But today I'm very excited to be filming this video because this is with a product I've been wanting to try. It's the Bliss Jelly Glow Ball. Bliss I know is a pretty affordable brand and when I was at TJ Maxx I saw this Radiance Boost thing cleanser ball with Latchy and it just intrigued me that I had to get it. So originally um, it's priced at $4 by God for $2.99. So not much of a savings from TJ Maxx, but still a dollar saving. This is free from parabens, patholites, SLS, SLES, and more, which is nice. I've been getting more into ingredients of skincare products and what I'm putting on my face. The ingredients of this looks pretty good. If you're allergic to mushrooms, I would say don't use this. It has glycerin, which is very hydrating. I like that because I have very dry skin. I don't get break up, break, break ups, breakouts, but with the masks, having to wear those, I have been getting excessive breakouts and then just, just everywhere. It's really bad and it seems like nothing's working on it. This product has vitamin C because of the latchy fruit. I don't even know what latchy fruit is. This is the first time I'm hearing about it, but it sounded interesting. So this is supposed to be very hydrating. Remove all traces of dirt, oil, and makeup. It's supposed to have maximum cleansing effect. The ball shape massages skin to boost surface cell turnover more glowy vibrant skin so hopefully that is what this will do and maybe if this goes well i'll test out more of the bliss products because i've been wanting to so let's see this is what it comes in to of course preserve the ball this is the first time i'm opening it oh there's a little thing i'm assuming this is to pop the balloon around it oh my god oh, it's so weird like even like the just the balloon it's already weird it's very cooling it feels like so looking at the shins for this before you use open the plastic case and remove the pick just this but do not remove the jelly ball yet using the pick pierce the ball through the hole at the top of the balloon like seal and open it so what i'm assuming is what you're supposed to do is this there's like this, which I didn't know what it was. There's this thing right there. Do this. Oh, shit. Did that work? So, oh, that's a very, very um weird consistency. Not the jelly ball itself, but the like balloon thing. So remove the ball from the seal. Discard the ball remnants before cleansing. So wet face and massage the ball directly on skin in a gentle circling motion. You can also wet the ball, lather in your hands, and then cleanse with fingers. Sounds easy enough. So what I'm going to do is wet my face first. And then uh, I'm going to just, I guess, gently in gentle circular motions. Let's see. This feels like weird. <laughs> it's like very cooling. It's getting some lather up. I feel like uh, you should wet the ball first too. Because um, it feels like it's getting like a little bit drying if you just wet your face. The problem I have with this is it's like getting slippery very like fast so it feels like it's gonna slip out of my hand maybe you need to use this a couple more times before it like starts like lathering up more because right now it seems like you use a lot of water to kind of get that lathering feeling let's see how my skin looks so i don't feel tightness on my skin 
that's a problem I do have with cleanses is like you feel that tightness. And if you do feel that tightness, that's not a good thing. So yeah, I don't feel tightness on my skin, which is great. Would I use this again? I don't know. I think like with skincare, you need to try a little bit more, but my, just feeling my skin, it does feel clean, cleaner and it like, it doesn't feel like it's tight, like it's lacking moisture, which is good. And I feel like my skin is a little bit more glowy. Didn't irritate my skin either, which is great. Um, after use, it says pat the ball dry, place back into the bottom plastic base. Do not let it sit in water. Ball will shrink with continued use. Proper care, it will be, it should last up to 45 days. So, so just put it back in there, I guess, and just let it sit until the next time you use it. I think this is like a fun, like little thing. And then it's also like, but definitely I will have to keep using this. I think for the first time impression, like it, like my skin looks more glowy, my skin feels soft, my skin isn't irritated. So I do like that. I will keep using this and just seeing if there's any more cons, if there's any more pros. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked it. Bye.